This is Mason Viner along with Wayne. And Wayne, you've been watching games practically since birth. What are your favorite places to um, watch games and what are the best games you've been to? Well, my favorite place is the Maryland Terrapin is called Fieldhouse. It had its 50-year run as the home of Maryland basketball. It's a special place. It's a place I became indoctrinated to college sports. One of the greatest games I ever saw it was probably the first big game I went to. It was a Maryland-Notre Dame game in the late 70s. Maryland wins in overtime. I was sold as a lifer from then on, and I got to go to Maryland and watch a lot of games there. And it's a dream come true to be able to cover Maryland. Now that's on the basketball side. I guess you want to know a little bit about other venues. Yeah, and one that I think a lot of fans around here point out is the RFK Stadium against now FedEx Field. Oh, RFK Stadium to FedEx Field. It's, it's probably the biggest drop-off in a move that I've seen. The Redskins had a home field advantage for the ages. The place was always packed. I know you've said that that's just my nostalgia kicking in, but that place was packed and rocking, and that was a great, a great NFL stadium experience. Then it's all gone. FedEx Field, a bland, corporate, overcrowded venue that, well, not recently overcrowded, as they can't get fans to come out, but just not the same. It's never going to be the same until they move back to the city, into D.C., from suburban Maryland, and actually make a stadium where you feel like you're part of the game. Do you think that genre of people moving out to the suburbs has affected overall fan attendance now that numbers are just looking terrible right now. Well, numbers look terrible, but everybody has an 80,000 plus seat stadium. And what they did not see is that there is a limit. There's a limit to how much money you're going to spend. Yeah, we ride a press pass now most of the time, but there are games that we go and have to write a, you know, use a credit card, write a check for it. Boy, there's an old term. Nobody writes a check for anything anymore. And when you figure out that you just spent $500 to go to a game that you could have stayed home and watched on, as Bruce says, your curved Samsung super television uh, on your custom-made couch and there's no line for the bathroom and you got all your food, even for somebody who goes to all these games because we love it, I can see why you stay home. And a lot of these games, <clears throat> the commercial breaks are too long. The beer's $12, a hot dog's $10, it costs $50 to park your car in a field? I mean, come on. I do want to bring up one trip that we took, and then we'll, we're up against the break here. We got to go to what I think is the best baseball venue on the planet. We went to Wrigley Field as part of a sports tour that we took. We went to Notre Dame, we went to Wisconsin, uh, we went to Wrigley Field. What was your, my impression of Wrigley Field is it is the best. I love Camden Yards, about 40 minutes from here, but man, Wrigley Field was great. What impression did that make on you? It was just a place that's unmatched in a way. So many teams now want to knock down their stadiums and build these billion dollar palaces, but the feelings and the history that you just got from Wrigley Field, even with the renovations, they were able to keep it, just the history in, and the way the fans are is just, it's just different. I know a lot of people love Fenway Park, especially around here, but the Midwestern vibe of sports and just such a historic place that's been there, the whole the little town, I guess, is built around it. Wrigleyville, yeah. It's just unmatched in a way, and the fans, even though it was against the Reds who were in last place at that point, just, it's at a level that it's almost, you can't just talk about it. It's, you got to go there and yeah. try it. Uh, this summer, well, in May, we got to go to Boston. We did not catch the Red Sox. We went for Maryland winning the Lacrosse National Championship, and I am going to close on that. Was that your moment of 2017? It just had to be. So many fans just were so happy about it. It's been so long, and, you know, we've been to three of these, and they basically lost that same three game. Three finals. Yeah, three finals, and they basically lost that same game, and to see them win it was just something so special, especially to me. Yeah. Uh, my moment... And it's part of our video, of our demo reel. The game of Texas was one of the great trips that our crew has ever taken. And it was one of the best wins we've ever had. That and beating Penn State a few years ago. And I'm going to close on that, Mason. Thanks for the interview. And please enjoy the rest of our demo reel. This is Wayne Viner. That's intern Mason. We'll see you soon.